Hey, this is Craig Ballantyne, creator of the infamous, the crazy 10-3-2-1-0 formula for helping you get more sleep, have more energy, get more done, and dominate your days. I'm also the author of the Perfect Day Formula, and that's where the 10-3-2-1-0 formula first became famous. And then it was in Inc. Magazine, and then it was in The Telegraph in London, England, and then it was on Australian TV, and then I was interviewed for Russian television about this crazy formula. And you know what's interesting is people love the formula and they hate the formula. Some people who are reactive people and who struggle in life love to hate it because it gives them an excuse not to be successful. But very successful people love the formula because it helps them dial in their days and get more done. So here's how it goes. The 10-3-2-1-0 formula helps you get a better night's sleep starting 10 hours before bedtime. So 10 hours, the 10 stands for the number of hours when you need to stop drinking caffeine before bed. Because caffeine stays in our blood and it keeps us alert for many, many hours after we consume it. But for most people, if you stop drinking caffeine about 10 hours before bed, so about noon for most people, you're going to be able to fall asleep faster. So keep that in mind. 10 hours before bed, no more caffeine. Then the next number is 3, and that is the number of hours before bed where we want to stop eating heavy meals and drinking alcohol. So avoid heavy spicy foods within a couple hours of bed and don't drink too much alcohol close to bed because even though a glass of wine might make you feel like you can fall asleep a little faster, it stops you from getting into your deep sleep cycles which are so important. We need these 90 minute sleep cycles every night to help us get rested, recover and regenerate for the next day. So if you're getting eight hours of sleep and you're having a glass of wine right before bed and you're waking up groggy and wondering what the heck is going on, it's because the alcohol is stopping you from sleeping properly. So three hours before bed, no more alcohol. Now, this isn't for every day of your life. I mean, if your daughter's getting married, you're gonna go and celebrate and you might sacrifice some sleep. But if you wanna be dialed in and dominate your days, don't have alcohol close to bed during the work week. Now the number two, our third number on our list is the number of hours before bed that I want you to stop working. So no more reading reports, no more doing phone calls, sales calls, all that stuff. Stop working two hours before bed so that you can start winding down, having quality time with your family and so that you're not aroused and fired up and alert. So slow down, no more work two hours before bed. And then finally one hour before bed. This is where you're going to stop using all electronics. No more iPhones, no more iPads, no more laptops, no more watching TV. Because all of those lights, all of that you know, stimulation keeps us up. It keeps us alert and it stops us from falling to sleep fast. So if you're checking your email and then trying to go to bed right away, you're going to struggle. You're going to stare at the ceiling. You're going to be frustrated. So an hour before bed, no more electronics. Wind down. Read from a book. Do the dishes. Spend time with your kids. Read a book to them. Tuck them in. Give them a bath. Have a bath of your own. You know, just wind down, relax and in those last 60 minutes and you'll fall asleep really, really fast and you'll have a great night's sleep. So no more electronics an hour before bed. And then the zero. The zero is not at night. It's actually in the morning. And that's the number of times that you're going to hit the snooze button. Zero, 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 zero because you don't want to hit the snooze button and fall back asleep. Because here's what happens. You actually end up groggier and more tired than if you had gotten up right away. Because you hit the snooze button, you fall back asleep, you get into that sleep cycle, you get taken out of the sleep cycle, you hit snooze again, you go back in, you're, you're all messed up. So very successful people, they don't hit the snooze button. They get up, they get right into their morning routines, which I've talked about in some of my other videos. So that's the 10-3-2-1-0 formula to help you dominate your days and own your life. So if you need the rest of the formula, the Perfect Day formula, go to freeperfectdaybook.com. I'll send you a copy of the book. You'll get more success in every area of your life. I'm Craig Ballantyne, helping you dominate your days.